Welcome to part three of the PowerPlay series, where I will be talking about how to expand and take over a system, and how to oppose other powers' attempts. As long as the system was successfully prepared at the end of the last cycle, you now have the chance to take it over. I can find more information on how to support an expansion attempt by going to the Expansions tab and selecting the system. For Hudson, it means taking the system by force. I travel to the target system and look for the military strikes. Once I'm at the location, I'm automatically aligned to the correct side. Each enemy ship I destroy earns me a power play voucher, which I hand in to support the expansion. To hand the vouchers in, I travel to the nearest Hudson controlled system, dock, and hand in to my power contact. When an expansion attempt is active in a system, a success trigger is created. For an expansion to be completed, an amount of vouchers equal to or greater than the success trigger need to be handed in. I can see progress towards the success trigger by selecting the system in the expansion tab and checking the bar chart, or by selecting the system power view from the galaxy map. The type of ethos of expansion, in Hudson's case direct force, is more effective against some forms of government and less effective against others. You can look at the overview tab to see the ethos of a power and which government types it is stronger or weaker against. When the ethos is strong against the government type of the target system, the success trigger is lowered, meaning less vouchers have to be handed in. If it is also strong against more than 50% of the systems it will exploit, the success trigger is lowered even more. The reverse is true when the ethos is weak against the government types. The success trigger will increase, meaning more vouchers must be handed in. As well as supporting Hudson's expansions, I can oppose other rival powers' attempts at taking over systems. Using the galaxy map and the expansion mode, I can select different powers to quickly see where to target. To oppose a power aligned to the same major faction as Hudson, Winters for example, I would travel to the target system, find the transport ships carrying the cargo and steal it. To oppose a power that is not aligned to the same major faction, such as Marne, I would travel to the target system and instead of stealing cargo, I would destroy the transport ships. This earns me a power play voucher. I then hand in any vouchers or cargo collected to one of Hudson's control systems. The opposition strength also has a success trigger value. If this is met, the expansion can only complete if it is greater than both its success trigger and the opposition strength. Opposition strength is shown as a separate bar next to the expansion bar. If the expansion attempt is successful at the end of the cycle, the system becomes a control system and all inhabited systems within 15 light years will be exploited for command capital. Here, I can see that Zevioso is now under Hudson control. Note, different powers have different methods for expansion. Ensure you check the expansion tab for the power you want to oppose for the correct action to take. 